Okay, <coughs> I foiled all the pieces. Took me about, oh, I don't, I do this all by hand, by the way. It probably took me about 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe, taking my time, watching a little bit of TV while I'm doing it. Got all the pieces foiled. So then what you want to do is you want to put them in their proper location. Line them all up like I am right here. I've got the soldering iron heating up, by the way, on the sidelines. So I'm going to tack solder all these into place. So I'm lining everything up the way it's supposed to be. When I ground it, I made sure that every piece was ground and was going to perfectly fit the way I wanted it to. Not all bevels are made so you can copper foil them, by the way. A lot of them are made so that you can lead them up. So they're not fitting really tight when you, most bevels when you pull them out of the package because they weren't intended, in many cases, to be copper foiled. Lead's very forgiving. You got a channel that hides a lot of imperfections of uh, bevels not being really smooth and what have you. So I'm just lining all these up so I can get ready for my soldering. So I want to make sure that every bevel's in its right location. As you can see, I'm lining it up on the lines, the crosshairs, but underneath the bevel pattern. Making sure everything looks good. Okay, as you see it. Everything looks great. Fits nice. Now I'm going to start tack soldering. What I'm going to do... I'm, this is kind of tricky because I'm recording in one hand and <laughs> Soldering in the other. Just give you an idea of what this looks like. I'm going to need both hands when I solder, so. So I'm going to tack solder. Just keeping it, just keeping it so that it doesn't move around on me. That's the purpose of tack soldering. You'll come back later and you'll solder it up properly. But for right now, this is just keeping my pieces in place. So I'm really not concerned at this point about anything looking good. It's just about, I'm putting my flux on. Gotta have flux. Flux is what makes the solder flow. Don't ask me what's in the flux. It's grease for all I know. Well, looks like grease. And the stuff I think is the best is Canfield Copper Mate Flux. I use the large. I make so many windows. I use. I buy it by the. I'd buy it by the gallon if I could get it by the gallon. So I'm doing this. I'm holding the camera in my left hand and soldering with my right. How talented does that make me? <laughs> Okay, you get the idea. I'm going to finish the whole piece with my tack soldering. I'm going to finish tack soldering with two hands, make it a little easy on myself. I'll be back with you. Bye-bye.